auditions for the fall play. I can't believe we're doing Dazzled this year. Ooh, nothing holds a candle to the glamour of legitimate theater. I was born for the lead. Selfie Soot, a coal miner's daughter with the heart of a dancer. Let's all do the play together! Ah! It'll be like planning an amazing party where everything has to be perfect or we get embarrassed in front of the whole school. Right, Fluttershy? I'm Fluttershy, trying out for coal miner number two. <clears throat> Down here, we mine for coal. Uh, you okay, Fluttershy? Oh. It would be so fun to be in the play with all of you, but when I think about trying out on stage all alone... Mm -mm. You perform all the time with the Rain Booms. What's different when we're all together, it's less... terrifying. You know, I got just the trick for stage fright. I bet I could help too, in half the time as Applejack. It ain't a contest, but if it were, I'd win. Really? Hmm. Who should I pick to help me? Practice speaking in front of a crowd. Ready? Mm -mm. Ah! You'll thank me later. Game on! There goes um number twenty-two with the score time what? running. Um, oh, help me, somebody. The ball goes up and boom goes a header ball. A head ball. Uh, no. Uh, huh? Lose yourself in the game! Come on, Fluttershy! Number 22 is pushing to the limit. The ball is tucked away by number 34, who passes back to Dash. She holds it, makes her move. She's cutting. Here's the cross. She's wide open. I don't believe it! Down here, we mine for... And the crowd goes wild. Surefire's cure for stage fright is to picture everyone in the audience as a bunch of chickens. Chickens? <laughs> a little cluck cluck and it'll pluck you right up. You never heard of this trick? Mm -mm. <laughs> everyone does it. And I mean everyone. Even you? <laughs> oh. Told you. Picture everyone in the audience as a bunch of chickens. Chicken, 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 chicken. I'm Fluttershy, trying out for coal miner number two. Down here, we mine for coal. <laughs> chicken trick worked, huh? Actually, I pictured everyone in the audience as you, Applejack. We, we believe, believe you, you, you would love that. that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you were able to imagine it in one way or the other, because my backup plan wasn't so hot. <laughs> <clears throat> Speaking of which, I should probably get them back to the farm.
how to make an entrance. How cool is chemistry class? I can't believe I got to come up with my very own chemical formula. Jalapeno Supernova Cupcake Frosting! That wasn't the assignment. Aw, you sound just like my lab partners. Couldn't have done it without you guys! I just got the weirdest text from Timber Spruce. Pirate, plane, alligator, thumbs up, waterfall, golf club, ice cream sundae. What does it mean? Is it an inside joke? A hieroglyphic reference? A secret code? Ugh, my brain feels weird. I'm not used to not knowing things. Hmm, sounds like you could use a translator. I could help. Leave this one to me. Who can get me out of this textastrophe? As you are no doubt keenly aware, I am fluent in all the latest text slang. Phone lingo, <laughs> if I may. Oh, so you're just gonna... No, no, darling. Thank you so much. But what did I just say? Oh, he replied. Robot shooting star trophy? Oh! <laughs> He's a witchy one. He won a space robot contest. Fancy dress anvil high five napkin. Anvil? I don't know if... Shh, darling, darling. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Who doesn't like ice cream? Check mark, check mark. Couple holding hands, sunshine, three balloons, spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what just happened? Oh, well, I started by sending a dragon, because you're powerful, ice cube and snail, because you're cool, but take it slow, and then pyramid, well, for obvious reasons. And he was way into it, so in this last one, I was just double-checking. You and Timber Spruce have a date on Sunday at 3 o'clock to have ice cream. Thumbs up, smiley face. You're welcome. So, what are you thinking, Fluttershy? I'd start with a bird. Sounds good. Then, iguana, guinea pig, regular pig, frog, baby chicken the egg, baby chick out of the egg, all three see no evil monkeys, cat, 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 all the cats, and um... Finish it with a squirrel on his hind legs. Sounds good. Scent? That was perfect! So what did we just send? A bunch of cute animal emojis. But what does it mean? <gasps> he says yes to the zoo! The zoo? Oh, the zoo! Thank you, Fluttershy! No matter what the problem is, adorable animals are always the answer. Timber Spruce wants to dress up like pirates and fly through waterfalls with an alligator while we eat ice cream with golf clubs for spoons? Crazy! Golf clubs would make terrible spoons. Have you thought about maybe asking him what he means? Ooh, great idea. How would I ask that in emojis? Ugh. Calling? No calling! Who talks on the phone? <laughs> Sunset! Wah! Hey, Timber Spruce? Sunset Shimmer here. Mm. Mm hmm. That text you sent, Twilight Sparkle. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. That's what Twilight thought, but we weren't sure. Thanks. You just boy talked. Mouth words. Phone. He's wondering if you're free to play pirate alligator mini golf this weekend. Oh, duh, of course. How do I say yes? Oh. Yes. I do not 
not share your dreams of color. Instead, my heartbeat calls for me to dance. <clears throat> heartbeat calls for me to dance? To dance! Oh, sorry, uh... But selfie soot, my sweet summer child, without your help, I'll never mine the mine in time. Or run lines with Flash Century in time, or help Applejack build the stage in time, or practice my monologue in time, or find time for time in time! <laughs> uh, am I missing a page? Um, when was the last time you took a break from the play? Take a break, break a leg, break a take? I think she's broken. Breathe, Twilight. You just need something to take your mind off the play a little while. We're here for you, right, everyone? Of course! Let one of us help you take your mind off it. You bet! Boots. Boots? That reminds me, I need to help Rarity design Selfie Soot's magic boots for the play! Oh, no, no, no. Don't think about that. Think about this. Be as cute as you can possibly be. Aw, he's adorable. It's why I love nature so much more than big cities. Shiny city! Applejack is building the city sets while we're out here lost in the woods! <gasps> Animals, you Tranquility. Dazzled is the name of the play! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this, this is nice. <laughs> so relaxing, so calm, so... Shh, let her take a little nap, everyone. All we need now is some volunteers to keep her warm. Spunky and Plunky, are you up to the task? Come on, Twilight! Only ten laps to go! I'm fasting as lap as I can! A great practice always clears my head! I promise, you'll feel great in no time! Right, guys? We'll catch up! to give Spike some exercise. <sighs> and I guess Sunset, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I know what we could do to get your mind off the play. We could ask Rarity for a makeover. Oh, or ask Bulk Biceps for a massage. He gets such good massages. Or we could ask Applejack to whip you up an apple face mask. Ah, oh, there's so many options. Maybe too many options. It's kind of stressful just thinking about it. Right? Huh? Where'd you go? Twilight! There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Take a look at this. I made an anti-stress list. You love lists, don't you? Well, to start, this is a list of lists we can make. We can make lists about color, lists about numbers, lists about buckets, lists. Twilight? Phew. Yeah! I had a feeling you'd be here. 
Pinky, listen, I really appreciate what you're trying to do and everything, but it's too much. All day, all I've been able to think about is where's Pinkie Pie? Where's Pinkie Pie? I haven't had one moment to... Think about the play. <sighs> you're welcome! What do you mean you failed? Uh, Mr. Cranky Doodle said I didn't have enough experience to pass the driving test. I have a retest on Monday, but it's my last chance, and he wants me to practice with someone more experienced. Oh, <laughs> darling, is that all? I can take you anytime you like. Don't fret your fritters. I can borrow Granny's truck. We could use my car. Well, I guess I'll go with... it for the day. If you're going to study driving, you must do it in style. I call it stretch chic. No, just a few things that you absolutely must know. Always have both sparkling and still water. You never know which one your passengers will prefer. Never play the music too loud or too soft. It has to be just enough that their heads bob, but not so much that they cover their ears. And finally, Always have your lights on the ready in case of an impromptu party breaking out. <laughs> your headlights? Rarity, I'm not going to prom. I'm just trying to pass my driving test. Darling, can we do both? Just a little bit. Oh, no, an inch to the left. Now, oh, careful! The shoulder. What's the shoulder? <gasps> Driving can be stressful, darling. Not bad, Sunset. You completed the left turn, the right turn, the U-turn, and the K-turn. But now comes the part where everyone fails. Parallel parking. Don't expect to... Done. Where on earth did you learn to do that? Mm, I just had to stretch my talents. I don't get it. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out, Applejack. Think nothing of it. I've been looking for a reason to take a spin in the old jalopy. Who are you calling a jalopy? <coughs> See? Like she's fresh off the lot. Whew. I can't believe she's still in such good condition. Uh, she's something, all right. You girls ready for the ride of your lives? Now, the first thing you ought to know is... To fail? For anything! <clears throat> All right, Sunset. Use that wrench to loosen the bolts, and we'll get this tie replaced in two shakes of an apple tree. <laughs> and what if I don't have you and Granny Smith around? Well... Oh, this is unfortunate. Of course, I know how to change a tire, but uh, I wouldn't want you waiting around, so I guess... Uh, you fail? Is that fair? Hmm? Not to worry, I know exactly what we need. You do? An apple, Jack. <laughs> Sunset, over here. Sweet ride, Fluttershy. In you go, Miss Kitty. All right, I'm ready to clock some miles on this bad boy. Let's do this. It's the driving safety run. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clearer. Check your little engine light to make sure that the trip's all right. The coolest drivers will admire... All right! ...properly inflated tires. 
So, what are we learning first? Turns, switching lanes, parking? Oh, funny you should ask. I actually have a rhyme for that, too. Now, Sunset, I know all this safety business might seem boring to you. And it is. But it's also... Uh, important. Tell me, what do you do even before you start the car? Turn up the radio! Oh, not that. It's the driving safety rhyme. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clear. Very nice. If your driving's as good as your rhyming's, I'm sure you'll do just fine. In. I had some help from the best. Now it's time to pass this test. Just start the car. I tell ya, no coal mining daughter of ours is going to shiny city wearing boots like those. Cut! <laughs> Snips, snails, where's the other boot? Hey! Props ain't our jobs. Yes, it is. Your job is props. Well, yes, but... Right. The play is about magic dancing boots. No one's buying tickets to see a magic dancing boot. <gasps> Somebody's pilfered my bedazzled boot, eh? Not good. But a new case falling right into my lap. <laughs> Not bad. Don't you worry, your sweet redhead. Redhead. Speaking as the lead whose foot that boot adorns, and the costume designer whose mind dreamt of it in the first place, let me assure you, I shall find the boot. But where to begin? Somebody's got to know something. Miss Pie, that's your real name. I can't take it anymore! It was me! I did it! I'm the one! <laughs> Pinky, it couldn't have been you. Huh? It couldn't have? You were nowhere near the auditorium when it went missing. I wasn't. You were at the frozen yogurt shop. I was? You literally still have frozen yogurt in your hand. Just so upset, I thought confessing would make you feel better. I could tell that dame had a sweet tooth. For trouble, there's still something you are not telling me. You saw something. Like, at the frozen yogurt shop. I took more than one free sample. And then I put the used sample spoons in the wrong cup. Slow down. And then someone took my spoon. This is bigger than spoons. And I watched them, Rarity. B -b -b I watched them eat my yogurt germs. Pinky Pie, please. Have you or have you not seen my boot? You mean the one under the pile of bell-bottoms? <gasps> you solved the mystery! But I have so much more to confess. Solving a case never tasted so good. The moment she strutted into my office, I already knew she was guilty. Only guilty people strut like that. That's a guilty person's strut. The moment I strutted into her office, I knew I could outsmart this buffoon. The dame wasn't talking, and that was fine. I cannot talk, too. I cannot talk for hours. I'm not even talking right now. <laughs> Me neither. Looks like Trixie picked up a racket and decided to play. Little did she know, two can play this game. She's good. But I had a little special something prepared. Makeup? We could be here for hours. You win this round, Rarity. But the match ain't over yet. The great and powerful Trixie always prevails. 
you better clean up these rocks. Someone could get hurt. Not me, but you know, someone. Spike? Sorry. I wanted to see what it's like to be a dancer. You want to dance in the play? Oh, we'll find a spot for you, Spike. But next time you borrow a boot, ask first. Case closed. Trixie, amazing. How come nobody's talking out loud? Well, last time I saw them together was uh, when I was building the mine shaft set over by the costume rack. Detectives trust their instincts, and mine were telling me to check the costume rack. Lord? The people, Maud! Honestly, I never pegged you for a crook. Who put you up to it? What do you got against my big debut? Why aren't you answering me? Why? 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 Huh. You might have thought this one is rose quartz, but it's actually amethyst. Ugh, nobody thought that. They're just rhinestones, darling. Made of amethyst. The world's largest amethyst geode weighs two and a half tons. A t -t two and a half ton bedazzling gem? Are you imagining yourself hugging it? Yeah, 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 I am. Me too. Glimmering, gleaming, glitzing geos. Oh, for me! <sighs> oh, nice. Go! Go and go! Ten seconds to set change. Stage crew ready? Uh -huh. In five, four, three, pyro! And bring in Shiny City! Guys, the effect is ruined if we don't get the set across the stage in time with the dancers. Ugh, but it's like moving a ton of bricks that's been built like, like a city! There's gotta be a better way to move this thing. Don't worry, Sunset, I've got an idea. Ooh, ooh, pick me, me too, pick me, pick me, pick me! Surely brains, not bronze, are the secret formula for backstage success. Thanks, Twilight. Your geode powers will make moving this set a cinch. Ready? Magic, go! Twilight, ah! This is the perfect chance to test my robotics club project. I would have gone with super amazing perfect for this specific problem equestrian magic, but okay. Oh, great. There go the robots taking all our high paying jobs again. Yeah! Wait, we're getting paid for this? <sighs> and bring in Shiny City! Twilight, your robot's amazing! Let's do this one more time from the top! Ready when you are. Pinkie Pie, what are these? Party balloons. I'm not sure we have time for balloons. You have big time, Sunset! I mean, there's always time for balloons. <laughs> <sighs> I love balloons. They're not scary at all. Little balls of joy! Ah! Traitor! I told you! Actually, they're 
for the set. You mean they're for the set? Nope. I feel like you're gonna have to explain this. Nope. Bring in Shiny City. See? Balloons can do anything. <laughs> While simple machines do provide a mechanical advantage by multiplying force against a single load, i.e. this set, I'm afraid the net loss of force due to friction in the opposite vector has not been overcome. No kidding. <laughs> Your face is an opposite vector. Your face is nothing more than a genetically predetermined arrangement of stratified squamous epithelial cells. Oh, snap, snaps, burn! I think. Harsh. I'm not sure you'll be able to move that giant heavy set on your own. I won't be moving anything. This muscle is gonna convince those muscles to move it on their own. Well, biceps. But I already asked him for help. He's too busy working out for his part in the play. Lump of coal. This lump of coal's gonna be cut like a diamond! <laughs> How'd you convince him to stop and help? Isn't it obvious? I fabricated a counterfactual peer-reviewed pseudoscientific study in Insane Lads magazine that postulates the only way to make your shirt uncomfortably tight for the summer is battle ropes. I battled the ropes and I won! You are a genius. Cloudy mornings will clear up in a flash. Giving us clear skies all week to jam out to this tune. And that's your weather in a flash. Thank you, Flash. Now for this week's most essential forecast, Trends. Featuring me, Rarity, your on-trend friend. As always, I look to Prim Hemline's style guide for inspiration. <sighs> Which I have memorized, so, uh, the latest trend simply has to be... Don't panic, Rarity. You once made a skirt out of snap bracelets. You can find inspiration anywhere. Messy rarity. Oh, this place needed a little color, don't you think? If Principal Celestia sees this, we'll be in trouble. Let's get to cleaning. Party's over, Pinkie Pie. A party? I was busy spreading the joy of confetti to the whole entire school! We know! Great job cleaning up, girls. Pinkie Pie, lay off the confetti, okay? Okay. <sighs> this afternoon's trend forecast... Detention. <laughs> The latest trend has to be rainbows! Sherbet, sprinkles, or rainbow hair, it's all in! Well, duh! Oh, so glad I found you, Rainbow Dash. I am tailoring a particularly tricky pinafore, <laughs> and I was wondering... The great and powerful... Oh, thank you, uh, but, uh, but I'm late for 
being over there. Oh, I just had the most embarrassing mix-up. I thought I was talking to you. <gasps> Debra, no, 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 it can't, can't be. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Submitted for your approval. A portrait of a school. Taken over by a trend. Namely, a hairstyle. Rainbow in nature. The calling card of one Roy G. Biv. <laughs> so if you choose to enroll in this class-wide craze, hurry up and catch the bus headed for the Rainbow Zone. <laughs> oh, hey, Rarity. I don't know what it is, but everyone looks awesome today. <laughs> This trend, smart is chic. What? Twilight, the great and powerful and smart Trixie has a question for you and you alone. How do I get to that cool place filled with those little bound stacks of paper? Books? Do you mean the library? The library! Down the hallway to the right. Library, here we come! Twilight, which word is cooler, boronic or automatopoeia? Well, they're both kind of bombastic. Bombastic? Oh, I love that. It's like da bomb plus fantastic. No, bombastic means overly florid in an attempt to sound impressive. Wow, bombastic much? Ooh, you just got incinerated. <laughs> What's gotten into everyone? Science! 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 There's a month-long wait list to check out the sequel to the book I just finished. Everything you ever wanted to know about arthropods? Not everything, obviously. Why is everyone suddenly into all the stuff I'm into? And taking my books? I may have taken the teeniest, tiniest little bit of inspiration from, well, you. I'm sorry, Twilight. Oh, that's okay, Rarity. I'm flattered. Besides, trends come and go, but friendship is always in fashion. Ooh. And not to worry, dramatic capes are about to pop! Science! Capes? Capes! Oh! I'm so glad we picked you to be the set designer, Applejack. I'm the only one who applied, so... And the plans look fantastic. Just one thing, one little kind of huge important thing. Is this gonna be built in time? Absolutely. Construction's a quick part. Like I always say, measure twice, cut once. But only after you measure three more times. Glad that's not my job. I'd be afraid I'd hammer my finger or something. What? I said I'd be afraid I'd hammer my finger or something. What? I said... Oh! You're going to be fine. Phew. Just stay away from lifting, hammering, cutting, anything set building related. But the play's this Friday. Don't worry, Sunset. I still got this. Ow! How about we get you an assistant set designer? I guess I could use a hand. Thanks a bushel for helping me build the set, Rainbow Dash. You got it, AJ. This is gonna be done before you can say, take a look at this blueprint. Well, actually, Rainbow Dash, you really should take a look at this blueprint. Already did. Got it up here. Slow down! And no time! But you need to measure more and cut less! You're not measuring enough! Stop! What's up? I'm done, by the way. 
Hmm. This doesn't look like the blueprint. It's even better. Oh, <laughs> I guess I was looking at the green prints. Is that what these are? Sorry. That ain't a green print. That's, that's my vision board on green paper. Say what now? Green is my power color. I sketched out all this stuff I wished I could build, but knew I'd never have time. And you just built it all. Only because I followed your amazing ideas. Where'd you find this? Oh, I ran to your house while I was building. Your room is a mess, by the way. And your diary was unlocked. I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I read it. Are you sure you have time to help, Pinkie Pie? Don't you need to practice your drum solo? I am gonna practice my drum solo, silly. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four! So you can't help me? I can't hear you! I'm busy helping! Pinky, drum over here! What'd you think? I'll be honest. I think you drummed up one heck of a set, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we got here is a basic disco layout with a light up dance floor and recessed cans to backlight the performance. <laughs> Mouse closed, please. But how am I supposed to tell you what to do? This your heart, Epicheck. Open it and let photo finish feel where the light needs to be. And then the set will be built where the light are not. So, what do I do? You're already doing it. Yes, can't you feel it? Feel what? The passion. It's time. What? This doesn't look anything like it's supposed to. You are looking with your eyes. Look with your heart. You're making less sense than a jackrabbit on roller skates. Behold. Whoa. Thank you so much. That look. That is why I do this. I go. Selfie? Only fools try to make it big and shiny city. How will I ever become a disco dancer when all I know is go, 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 go? <laughs> Your canary tears have summoned me, my child. It is I. Your fairy boot mother! Whoa. Do not despair, for all coal turns to diamonds! <laughs> How's coal miner number two doing? Thinking of calling in sick? Don't be nervous. It's only one line. All you have to do is ring that bell and say, the mine is closed. The mine is closed. Yeah, that, but maybe a little louder. <laughs> Go get him. Shaw needs our help. 
Uh, we only have one. Uh. Oh, pardon me. Talking apple tree coming through. Oh, hello, coal mine. Just me, the magical talking apple tree. R remember, fairy boot mother? You enchanted me. Oh, uh, yeah. I certainly enchanted you. <laughs> that. Would you look at that? The bell's back where it needs to be. Someone should really ring it. Just flutter on over. Don't be shy. The mine is closed. <laughs> Number two, it is I, the assistant director um, of the play of life. <gasps> this isn't in the script. Follow my lead. You're a genius. You crashed this bell on purpose. For this bell is a metaphor, is it not? It is. Whether it's our family's expectations to work in the coal mine, or if it's a fear of the spotlight, we all need to let go of what's holding us back. The pressures of life turn us all into diamonds. Oh. Come on, everybody, join in! Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. You got this. The mine is closed. <laughs> in me, buddy? I do! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait! What's the lowdown on the after-party hoedown? I'm ready to throw down! Is it gonna be the best night ever, or what? Suppose so. Whatever is the matter, girls? I thought you were excited for the soiree. We were. We even put together a super special slideshow of all the great memories we made while doing the play. But Mr. Cranky Doodle says parties are not an appropriate appropriation of his expensive projector. Maybe one of us can turn that heart of coal into a diamond. If he's going to be stubborn about it, so can we. Hey there, Mr. Cranky Doodle. I heard you won't let us borrow your projector for our party. You heard right. Ooh, she's going to have a good old-fashioned stubborn off. 
I'm asking nice. The answer's no. Not leaving without it. You're gonna be here a while. Fine by me. Talking overnight. Got a sleeping bag. Floor is not comfortable. Air mattress, too. You'll hyperventilate. Got an air pump. Won't let you plug it in. Foot powered. You'll get a cramp. Eat bananas for potassium. They're not in season. You're right. I can admit when I'm beat. Ha! <laughs> Great party, you guys! Yeah, good times. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> hey! Thanks for finding my flashlight. I've missed this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, girls. In the fashion industry, there is no room for compromise, and I happen to be an excellent negotiator. Good evening, Mr. Cranky Doodle. Uh, hello, Rarity. I am here representing the Cutie Mark Crusaders. I understand you are denying them the use of a projector. Yes, my projector. Uh, let the record show that Mr. Cranky Doodle has identified the projector in question. So, if I am understanding you correctly, this is your projector. Yes. And you take it home with you when the school day ends. Well, no, I can't do that. Mm, that's right. You can't do that, can you? In fact, this projector cannot leave the school premises because it isn't your projector at all. It is the property of Canterlot High School, a public school funded by hard-working taxpayers such as Applejack and myself. So technically, is this not the taxpayer's projector? My projector, Applejack's projector! Therefore, did you not lie under oath when you identified it as your own? I didn't take an oath. You're out of order! This whole projector situation is out of order! I'm confiscating it as evidence. Wait! It's expensive, and it could be damaged if not cared for properly. Also, I pay taxes, too. You're saying you'd feel more comfortable if someone were there to supervise it? We <laughs> <laughs> did it! Oh, delighted we could reach a settlement. In exchange for the projector, he could attend the party to supervise said projector. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Right, but... Mr. Cranky Doodle, come quick! There's a full-blown math emergency backstage! A math emergency? Sweetie Drop's fixing to take the square root of negative one! It's worse than I could have imagined. I say I and imagined because... a little coaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are those girls anyway? Uh, we gotta get back to uh, 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 uh. here's where the problem really shifts into high gear. Take that solution and plug it into this function and the square root of the sum of the second time. 